I know that everyone wanted to know why, and I wish we could tell them. Right now at 10 o'clock, the head of Indiana State Police answering our questions about gaps in the murder investigation of two teen girls in Delphi. This weekend will mark five years since Abby Williams and Libby German were murdered on a trail in Delphi. It's a mystery that remains unsolved and one that Indiana's top police officer says haunts him. News 8's Demi Johnson has covered the Delphi murders since day one. She joins us now with more, Demi. Yeah, five years, no arrests, no publicly named suspects, but lots and lots of rumors and speculation. Tonight, the Indiana State Police Superintendent tells me he believes someone will be arrested in this case eventually. Wish we could tell people and literally the world what we know. And one day we'll be able to, but today's not that day. The list of what Indiana State Police say they know and what the public wants to know keeps growing. It's been five years since Abby Williams and Libby German were murdered. In the months and years since, we've seen two sketches of possible suspects, heard a recording from Libby's cell phone, yeah, yeah. and most recently learned about a social media profile named Anthony Schatz. Court documents uncovered by Wish TV say Kagan Klein admitted to creating and using the account to get more than 100 sexual pictures and videos of underage girls. Klein made that admission in February 2017, just 12 days after the girls were murdered. But he wasn't arrested until more than three years later. I asked State Police Superintendent Doug Carter how that was allowed to happen and why it took nearly five years to tell people about the account. I will just simply say that we have gleaned a tremendous amount of information over five years. Okay. And we would, if there was a, any meaningful reason to talk about it or act on it, we would have. A couple years ago, at a press conference, you said the killer could be in this room. Yes. Do you believe that your investigators have interviewed this person? I'm not going to go there. I don't think it'd be a proper for, it'd be proper for me to do that. But I do think that the killer would be watching this interview. What do you want to say to him? Uh, what the family says today could be the day. Sleep well. Today could be the day. Maybe it's tomorrow. If we're sitting here, February 2023, do you believe, based on what you know, not what the public knows, but what you know, that we'll be talking about an arrest? You, you are really creative when you ask me questions. Personally, I'm very critical of myself. And I certainly hope that by the time that my run here ends, that there's an arrest made. I think it will be before that. And that's all. Now, we do want to be clear on this point. Kagan Klein has not been charged in the girls' murders. In fact, no one has. He's in the Miami County Jail awaiting trial. He faces 30 counts, including child porn and child solicitation. Demi Johnson, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. All right, Debbie, thank you very much. And as Debbie mentioned, in the case against Kagan Klein, we have new developments there tonight. Wish TV has learned that Klein today filed a request for the judge to delay his trial on 30 counts of child porn. The trial is scheduled for May 9th. The judge uh, says that if the trial will be delayed or, or what the new date might be, we'll keep it posted on that.